Hello there. Welcome to my little, well, correction part of, of my tutorial, which is going to fix a bug that we have in our contacts application, um, which I've stumbled upon recently, so I'm just trying to correct this bug. Um, first of all, let me start my REPL before I show you what, what the problem is. And then I'm opening my core CLJS. Well, the problem um, is related to the delete functionality that we, we've introduced in part one of this tutorial. And, um, well, superficially it seems to work, fi work fine, but uh, when you're using it together with the edit functionality, then you're going to realize there's a bug. Let me connect my Emacs to the REPL. Yes, and then run the application. And then I'm going to show you what the problem is. Okay, so I can now open our contacts application like we've seen it before. And when I press the delete button, everything seems to work fine. We can just delete the contacts. And we can also change the values of um, the contacts, like we've introduced it in, in part two of the tutorial. But now when I, for example, delete the first contact, which is Mike in this case, and then try to edit stuff here, let's say Jim, Tom, or whatever, no, Tim, and then press enter, well, as you've probably recognized or realized what happens here, Jim doesn't get um, altered, but the value that I entered suddenly now overrides the value of Jane here. So that's obviously a bug. And as I've found out, it's related to what we're doing here in our on-click handler in the contact view. What we're actually doing here is um, we're waiting for a click on the delete button and when that, when that happens we're um, fetching the contacts from this contacts function which we have created over here. It re returns a ref cursor to the relevant part of the application state which in this case is the contacts part because otherwise we wouldn't have access to all the contacts from within just a single contact view, which uh, usually only knows about um, a single contact. And then when we have all our contacts, we're just we're going into the transact um, function of OM and replacing these contacts with a new vector that remove that we've removed um, the desired contact from. So this is the problem here. It seems to be that we we are accessing CS here, which is being created over outside of this this function handler or outside of, the, of this function. So we are using it as a free um, variable. So using it closure-like, closure and uh, that's a problem as it seems. So when I, for example, use the parameter that transact puts or um, passes into the f this function, which is actually the same, so it's all of the contacts, then it should fix the bug. So now let's try again, remove Mike, click on James Jane's name, call her Jane Ann, enter, and then it's working. Tom Max as well. Okay. So that that fixes our that's a little bug, fi bug fix for this matter of deleting contacts. Um, you could also like in the OM tutorial or in the yeah in the tutorials that, that are on the OM GitHub page. Um, 
they do it a bit differently. They are using um, core async channels to pass messages around and then the contacts list view is responsible responsible for deleting contacts. That's of course mm, probably more elegant than elegant than, than than this one, this solution here. But it's also a bit more ver verbose and um complicated. So we are for now we're sticking to this here and now we fix the bug so everything is fine. Thanks for watching.